for there is always light, if only we're brave enough to see it, if only we're brave enough to be it. We will not be turned around, or interrupted by intimidation, because we know our inaction and inertia, will be the inheritance of the next generation. We are the ones we have been waiting for. We will raise this wounded world into a wondrous one. We seek harm to none and harmony for all. I have to interweave my poetry with purpose. For me, that purpose is to help people, and to shed a light on issues that have far too long been in the darkness. We will not march back to what was, but move to what shall be, a country that is bruised but whole, benevolent but bold, fierce and free. We are striving to forge a union with purpose, to compose a country committed to all cultures, colors, characters and conditions of man. Poetry and language are often at the heartbeat of movements for change. Maybe everything hurts. Our hearts shadowed and strange. But only when everything hurts, may everything change. Don't ignore the pain. Give it purpose. Use it. We do not hope for no reason. Hope is the reason for itself. All of us bring light to exciting solutions never tried before. For it is our hope that implores us, at our uncompromising core, to keep rising up for an earth more than worth fighting for. Poetry is the lens we use to interrogate the history we stand on and the future we stand for. In a world that often tries to silence us, poetry gives us a voice, a way to speak. We are the ancestors of a future we are yet to meet, the architects of a world we are yet to build. The power of poetry lies not just in the words themselves, but in the spaces between them, the silences and the pauses that allow the words to breathe and come alive. We must become the light that shines through the darkness, the hope that rises from despair, the unity that overcomes division.